Hey there, in today's video, I'll guide you through optimizing your in-game settings for Valorant, and then we'll jump into some Windows optimization tips and tricks. Let's get started. First up, raw input buffer. Turning this on sends your mouse input directly to the game, giving you the fastest and most precise aim possible. It's like a direct line from your mouse to the game, cutting out any middleman. Next, we have NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency. Set this to on plus boost. This setting works to minimize input lag, making sure your reactions in the game are as fast as they can possibly be. It's crucial for competitive play. Now let's talk about multi-threaded rendering. Make sure this is on. This allows the game to use multiple cores of your CPU, which significantly improves and stabilizes your frames per second. More cores mean smoother performance. For material quality, you can set this to low or medium. Lower settings will increase your FPS, and a high setting isn't really crucial for how you play the game. It helps your graphics card focus on what matters. Similarly, with texture quality, choose low or medium. Lower textures mean your GPU and RAM use less power, leading to better performance. It's a trade-off for speed over super high detail. Moving on to detail quality, keep this at low or medium. Fewer scene details mean improved clarity on your screen and higher FPS. It helps you focus on the action without visual clutter. For UI quality, Lower medium is the way to go. A less demanding user interface means faster menu response times and a slight boost to your FPS. Every little bit helps. Make sure vignette is off. This simply removes the darkened corners from your screen, keeping your entire view clear. You wanna see everything without any visual obstructions. Always turn VSYNC off. This prevents any added input delay and maximizes your responsiveness in the game. You want your actions to register instantly without any lag. For anti-aliasing, set this to none. This gives you the highest FPS with no performance cost, though you might notice slightly jagged edges. It's a choice for pure performance. Anisotropic filtering should be set to 1x. This provides minimal filtering, which gives you maximum performance and frames per second. It's about getting the most speed out of your system. Now, let's look at improved clarity. Turn this on. This setting sharpens your visuals, making enemies and object outlines easier to see. It helps you spot targets faster. Experimental sharpening should also be on. This further sharpens the image, increasing definition and making spotting opponents easier in some situations. It's another tool to enhance visibility. Bloom can be on. This adds lighting glow effects, which can make the game look more vibrant, but sometimes it might reduce visibility. It's often a personal preference for how the game looks. For distortion, turn this off. Disabling screen warping effects ensures your visuals remain clear and undistorted. You want a steady and consistent view of the game. Finally, cast shadows should be off. This removes extra dynamic shadows, which significantly improves your FPS and visibility. Less clutter on screen means you can see enemies more clearly. All right, let's dive into some Windows tweaks to boost your PC's performance. First up, we're gonna optimize virtual memory. As you can see here, I'm adjusting the paging file size for the C drive. This helps Windows manage system resources more efficiently, especially when your physical RAM is getting full. Manually setting this can lead to smoother multitasking and better stability, particularly when you're running demanding applications or games. I'm setting the initial size to 30,000 megabytes. Next, we're moving on to power plan settings. We want to ensure your PC is running at its best. So we're selecting the high performance power plan. This prevents your computer from reducing its speed to save energy, which can significantly improve responsiveness and overall performance during gaming or heavy workloads. Finally, we're gonna enable game mode. This is a built-in Windows feature that prioritizes gaming by reducing background processes. Turning this on helps ensure you get the best possible performance while you're playing your favorite games. All right, gamers, now I'm going to show you some options that not everyone knows about. These are exclusive to this channel and completely safe. You can always go back to your old settings if you're not satisfied. I'll even show you how to check that it's safe. This pack fixes so many issues. FPS drops, high latency, lag, 
stuttering, and network problems, just to name a few. You could try to do all this manually, but that's really risky. If you change something incorrectly, your system could become unstable and everything could get much worse. That's why I created this FPS Boost Pack, so you can do all of this in just a few clicks, 100% safely. The FPS Boost Premium 2025 Pack is already being used by 800 gamers, and everyone is extremely satisfied. It's available for both Windows 10 and Windows 11. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you.